Previously on balls.co.za. Right now that we're joined by, uh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Still got Hello. the uh, still got the darker hair, which is uh, nice to see. He's got the nice Victor Matfield beard going as well and moustache. <laughs> yeah, trying uh, trying something different uh, this time around. So. How's it going, Venant? It's pretty good, huh? It's, uh, sun's coming out, the weather's changing a little bit, yeah, so uh, winter's almost gone, so it's going very, very well. Thank you. And uh, yourself? Yeah, well, the sun's actually come out for the first time in two weeks here in your <laughs> old home home, the home province. Uh, it's been I, absolutely miserable. I just saw that. I was there last week for a couple of days uh, mm. to get some sun on the skin, and uh, <laughs> it was raining every day. <laughs> all right, well, uh, yeah, it hasn't changed much, although today we're seeing a bit of blue sky, so hopefully it's almost over. What's that behind you, by the way? No, it's just a mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Let yeah. me just it's very, sit in, the, in another room. It's really... Uh, okay. No, we don't mind the mirror. It's fine. Okay. Geez, look at all this art, artifact you got in your place. There. How old is that thing behind you? Yeah. I have absolutely no idea. I'm uh, I'm actually just renting the place fully furnished, so I was here when I got here. That must be a post box, uh, post box going back to like the 1700s. Yeah, I think it is quite old, though. Yeah, no, it is. Right? Otherwise, you need to polish it up a bit. But <laughs> 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 All right, now just clarify for John exactly where you are, because yesterday he went from Japan to uh, France to Italy to England to Wales. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm in uh, Montpellier, the south of France. Yes, Montpellier. How's it going yeah. there? It's pretty good. Huh? The rugby's going pretty well, uh, except I was out for with an injury for, for about two months. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we're lying quite good on the log. I think we're third on the log at this stage. So things are going very, very well. Are you enjoying the experience? Yeah, definitely, except for the, except for the winter. The winter is, is a little bit too long. But other than that, it's uh, pretty good. Let's get back to that injury because for someone that's been the poster boy for rugby for a long time with those gorgeous locks and <laughs> facially, it was Simon. Probably, it was, <laughs> are you talking? Are you calling Bucky and Victor gorgeous? I'm getting yeah, worried locks. now. No, okay. um, <laughs> no yeah. it was possibly the worst kind of injury you could have got. Yeah, um, actually, it was uh, it was pretty bad. I'd, I'd fractured my cheekbone and uh, my eye socket. In yeah. uh, three different places, so um, he couldn't actually see it, which was pretty bad. But uh, I couldn't do anything for two months, so I was just sitting on the sideline. I couldn't train, couldn't do anything. So um, the, the wasn't it wasn't actually pretty good. It wasn't good for me because, um, like I said, I can't I can't gym, I can't run, I can't do anything. So I just sat at home most of the time. I I had well I had a similar injury in matric. I got a hockey ball to the face. Mm -hmm. And it, it also it shattered my cheekbone. And do you don't, did you find you don't realize how many parts of your face are actually connected? The only time you know that is when you break something and try chew, for example. You can feel all your bones moving. Or blink. It's disgusting. Mm. Exactly. I, I still can't chew on my left side of my mouth. And um, the upper part of my, my, my top lip is, is uh, still numb. I can't feel it. So I don't know what's uh, going on with the nerves there. So, but it's like you said, it's, uh, you don't think it's that serious until you, something like that happens to you. Yeah. Uh, you got. To, I was going to say, he's got a little bit of cornet cricket going there when he talks. You know, the one sort of one side of the mouth is slightly, uh, <laughs> but that rocky thing going there. Thanks, thanks, Larry. I appreciate <laughs> anyway, that. I know you'll take that as a compliment. But now, listen. I mean, as uh, for your cake, I like this. So, you know, lettuce or you know, it's they did a good job of seeing repairing it. I mean, was there a lot of surgery involved? No, absolutely. Um, so just let it no heal. surgery. It just uh, just uh, grew back. I don't know what happened. Uh, it wasn't that serious. You couldn't actually see anything because uh, the doctor actually made a mistake in the beginning. He said nothing's wrong. <laughs> the and French. I, just, I, I got to <laughs> training on uh, on Tuesday, and he said to me, "Listen, we've got a problem. Your 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 face is fractured in three different places." And I was I was shocked. Couldn't believe it. Body's an amazing thing. Eh? How it just sort of restores itself. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Um, and getting a chance to watch, especially as you've had a little bit of time, obviously very frustrating for you, but getting a bit of time to watch your old uh, Bulls guys in action in Super Rugby? Definitely. Uh, I've, I've watched most of, most of their games. Um, well, they, they were off to a little bit of a rocky start. And I think they had uh, most of the fans and everyone a little bit worried. But uh, after last weekend's game, uh, I think they, they're back on track. Things are looking uh, upwards for them. Yeah, well, they will be until two weeks' time when they play the Sharks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now um another thing we need to clarify because uh, we saw something on twitter about uh about your potential marital life recently but now you know with this oscar case everyone has become a, a detective 
And yeah. then, uh, and then our, our social media guru went in and said, no, but hold on, this has happened a while ago because the photograph that was posted on Twitter goes back to a birthday party and it hap- must have happened then. So, is there no verloof? Ek is nou verloof, ja. Wanneer? Uh, it's, it's actually, I've actually been engaged for about a month and a half okay. now. Congratulations, well done, well done. Well done. That's, that's good detective work from Maz. You said, no, it must have been a while ago because the photograph goes back that long, so. Yeah, um, I was actually just waiting. We, uh, I, I, I told her she could, uh, she can design the ring herself. So uh, she designed it, and uh, that's that's why I only put it up now. Um, mm. I'll, I'll probably put up a photo of the ring in the next week, a day or two, so. Um, we're pretty excited about that. But now, so you've kept this quiet for about a month and a half. Yeah, because I actually proposed without a ring. So I tried to ah. do the romantic thing and um, the whole story sounds pretty good, but uh, there's, there was no ring. So now now there's actually a ring. So it's uh, yeah, it's quite exciting for us. You must come back. I mean, I think they'll pay you more. Yeah, you can afford one. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think exchange rate you'll be quite happy over there for a little yeah. while longer still yeah um, All right. well congrats as well and to you and your, your beautiful beautiful lady as well on your uh, engagement any plans on when you're getting married um, it might uh, I think it might happen end of uh, January beginning Feb or the beginning of March next year here in South Africa yeah okay uh, in, in Kaap Stati huh fantastic yeah, we're doing. Uh, she wants to do the whole wine farm. Yeah. And everything. Well, so. you must have it. You must have a chat to Faf Duplessis because he had his wedding at Lanskap, and Paul Harris, who comes in here every week, couldn't speak highly enough of the place. And if you let top billing film at Lanskap, we'll give it to you for free. Yeah, and they pay you cash as well. <laughs> of, of Fred and Listers. Of, of yeah, my, uh, yeah. Just nant. let top billing come film, then you get everything for free. Johnny, I don't think I'd really want to get married at a place called Freda. That's got the word "lis" in it. <laughs> really, yeah, this, yeah, this need Yeah, because sometimes marriage is not associated with either words, Freda or Liz. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, anyway, well, that, that's awesome. But now, what fun your mic is? Uh, you, all your, surely most of your mates are going to be up here in Pretoria and this part of the world. Are you flying them all down there? Yeah, I don't know. I've uh, I've made a lot of requests. I've booked the tickets now, so it'll be cheaper for next year. And uh, a lot of jokes been made about it. But um, for for the European uh, for the for the European Cup, uh, we've got off that that period. Okay. So I think a lot of the guys that's playing this are like Monet and Bucky's and them. Uh, I think they they might attend because uh, nothing's happening for us here. So um, and I think most of the guys in South Africa. Um, that's just before the season starts. Yeah. So it's it's actually a good time for us, and it's summer that side. Mm. Although I just told the uh, the Bulls said to keep Byron to call and say, listen, preseason Montpellier or, or Cape Town this year. Then then they let the Bulls pay for the flights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit cheaper for me then. <clears throat> and do you know? Have you thought about who your best man's going to be? Have you asked him yet? That kind of thing. Uh, actually, no. I've uh, thought about one or two. Definitely, my brother. My brother is, is there, uh-huh. and um, yeah, I don't know. I've I've got a lot of friends uh, which I've made over the years, and uh, I still keep in contact. So we'll so we'll see uh, closer to the closer to, to the date. Uh, Ami is actually down in Cape Town now, looking for a venue as oh, we speak. Okay. So. And the music sorted. Oh, John, shut down. He's got a DJ. He's got uh, a he's fine. Looking for someone. No, uh, fine, these, no. these guys next to me are now pitching for gigs at your wedding. Uh, yeah, I believe me, John did uh, did my first wedding. Uh, don't even go there. And uh, Simon is available as MC <laughs> with all his characters. Yeah, if you want Peter de Villiers at your wedding with a moustache, I'll travel. He's added David Campisi to his <laughs> yeah. repertoire as well. So you uh, just tell me what you want. Cheaper. I just have to invite uh, Simon, so I don't have to invite everyone else. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, gee, Van Antel. <laughs> awesome stuff. Van Antel, it's lucky to see you, but you're looking very well, yes. looking very happy there as well. And uh, it's good to catch up with you again. It's um, It's been a long time, and we look forward to catching up again sometime soon. Yeah, thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. Uh, it's really? good to hear from you guys. It's, uh, I, I, I listen to Balls Radio quite often this side. So. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome, man. Thanks, sir. There we go. We'll appreciate that as well. And we'll catch up with you soon. Send our best to the uh, other South Africans that you bump into while you're on your travels there, okay? I'll do so. Thank you very much for the call. Keep well. Thank you, Vaynan. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There we go. Vaynan Olifia joining us on Skype from Montpellier. Such a nice egg. Yeah, Montpellier. He's a lacquer egg. Balls.co.za